Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be going over five different niches that you can sell in with Merch by Amazon. All of these niches are niches that I currently sell in, and obviously, I'm not going to give you the specific phrase for the specific shirt and the specific idea. That's up to you to come up with, but I think that using this particular format of these different five niches, you can create some designs that will sell and will make you money. So I just got a StreamYard subscription and I'm very excited to play around with it to show you guys some different things. I have made a PowerPoint and I haven't made a PowerPoint in a very long time. So bear with me here. It's not going to be great. It's going to look like an, uh, maybe a fifth or sixth grader made it. But we're just going to go ahead and play around with this and show you some different shirts. All right, guys. So we've got five niches that we're going to explore here. And I'll show you what I mean in this first one. So niche number one is going to be Christian shirts. So this shirt over here it says Sundays are for church and nap. So Christianity is a very big thing in the United States and, you know, throughout the world, really. But there are different denominations of Christianity. There are Church of Christ. There are Methodists. There are Catholic, Baptists. And then you have LDS, which would be considered the Mormon Church. So there are a ton of different niches to go into when you are getting into religious niches. And you can see that there are a lot of different styles. A lot of people in the religious niche use this kind of uh, scripted font style. And that's all the shirt is. It's not even even a picture it's just font so you can even go so far as to say Sundays are for church and blank and then you can say church and football church and family church and sewing Sundays are for church and food Sundays are for church and uh, pumpkin pie whatever you want to do you can definitely add in some different things in the Christianity niche and I think that this is one that is definitely untapped I've said this before but I think that there's a lot of room for growth here there are a lot of uh, different types of religion that aren't being served and you don't have to do just Christianity you can do any religion that's just the one that I'm familiar with so that is usually the one that I will make sure it's for niche number two is specific careers so you need to dive deeper into a career field you can't be so vague with the career field you can't just say teacher or nurse you need to get into specialized versions of the career field for instance with nursing you want to go for a pediatric nurse or a mother baby nurse or a geriatric nurse and then say you're doing geriatric nurse you might think of some jokes that would be um, used in this particular industry for geriatric nurses such as like forgetful or, you know, being young again when you're old or whatever the case may be. Now for this shirt on the right, we've got a mother baby nurse and this says caring for tiny humans and strong mamas. And we've got the baby footprints and then we've got the rainbow. So they've got a lot of different points of contact here for different ways to zone in on their niche. They've got the fact that they are caring for both babies and moms and they've got that rainbow, which would be good in the title. And then they've got the little baby footprints. The reason why I even put this on the list I debated it, but I think that it it really is useful because, you know, narrowing down your search criteria, your criteria for what people are typing in is how you're going to be found in the search. The more specific that you can get, the better. I know a lot of people are welders. So maybe you think about different types of welder. Maybe you think about underwater welder. And for teachers, maybe you think about um, special education teacher. And, you know, any type of career field is going to be very specific. There's going to be different types of lawyers, different types of accountants, uh, different types of law enforcement. So the farther you can dive into this, the better. All right, guys, niche number three is about raising awareness. So what do people care about? What are people protesting? What are things that people are passionate about? What are some social justice causes that need attention? What about like chronic illnesses like ALS that people do like the ice bucket challenge to raise awareness about ALS? Um, social problems such as climate change, um, social problems like food industry, like vegetarians or vegans. And then you've got affordable care, which is in this uh, picture here, people protesting. And, you know, something to think about, anything that people would go out and willingly protest for is probably a good shirt topic. It's just something that you know people are going to want to wear to the protest. You know, they feel strongly about it. They feel passionate about it. They're using their time and their resources in order to go to these things. So it makes sense to conclude that they would also want to buy a shirt based on that particular thing as well. So what you want to do is you want to try and give them something that they can wear to these protests. Give them something that they can show who they are show what they support, show their beliefs, show it to everybody who will listen that this is what they stand for and give them something that they can be proud of, that they can wear and kind of raise awareness for their particular cause. And raising awareness is a pretty 
broad term. So you can think of lots of different things that you could potentially use this for. Raising awareness is good because lots of people will want to be able to support a cause and they don't necessarily know how to, but if they have a shirt with it, it may be able to, you know, spark up a conversation and just kind of get people talking about it. So niche number four is the mental health niche. This is a semicolon shirt. It says your story isn't over yet. The semicolon is very popular in the mental health space. I wrote going to therapy because that is a very popular shirt subject. Just make sure that it's not trademarked. Um, you've got your disorders, you've got bipolar, you've got OCD, anxiety, depression, the list goes on. Um, I would definitely kind of, you know, play around with some of these phrases and these different things because there are a lot of people that are suffering from these things and you know they do need to be normalized they do need to be talked about and that's why I put in there normalize insert phrase because you can put normalize bipolar disorder normalize depression normalize going to therapy um, so basically over time we've seen that more people are getting help for mental illness or for different problems and it's being talked about more commonly now so this is something that you would not see people wearing 20 years ago you wouldn't have a shirt that says like oh I go to therapy um, but now it's something that people are wanting to spread awareness from you even get like Instagram ads sometimes for uh, those therapy shirts that say like therapy is cool so just kind of take that aesthetic and that kind of concept and make your own designs with it make your own phrases and I think that you can succeed in this mental health niche all right guys don't come at me for this one niche number five is grief or remembrance so yeah we're talking about dead people but to be honest with you death is a part of life and everyone knows somebody that has passed away and a lot of people grieve in different ways and some people put stickers on the back of their car and some people wear t-shirts so who are we to deny them the t-shirt that they want so basically, you know, there are a lot of different ways to do this, but a lot of the phrases are about grandparents, about parents. Um, when someone has a new baby and their parent or grandparent is not there to meet the baby, it causes them to have a lot of feelings of grief. And, you know, one way to honor that is to kind of take a picture or take a picture with one of these shirts on. And people even do photo shoots with the shirt on and then holding the picture of the grandparent. And yeah, it's really chuggy and it's really embarrassing, but people do it in order to remember their loved ones. So holiday remembrance is a big thing around Christmas um, and then you've got specific illnesses like 5k's to raise money or charity events I kind of threw that in there because a lot of times when you have someone who's passed away from something um, people will run in honor of that person so they will wear the shirt with their name on it or with their particular thing and they'll they'll run in a 5k or a marathon in order to honor someone so niche number five is grief or remembrance you just want to make sure that you're not using this to exploit like human tragedies you don't want to do anything that is distasteful or merch by Amazon will not allow the design to go up and they may even terminate your account. So just be careful in this niche, but I do think that there is room in this niche to succeed, especially for those of us who are more tactful and probably someone who's not quite like me and who, I don't know, it's kind of funny when I see like stickers on the back of the car that say, uh, you know, so long Bubba with angel wings and he was a good man and he, he probably got into a motorcycle accident or something like that. I just can't take that stuff seriously because I have a very morbid sense of humor, but for people who are a little bit more tactful, this may be a good niche to get into. So number five is the grief or remembrance niche. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you did enjoy the five niches that I went over, and I hope that this has been somewhat helpful to you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I make a lot of Merch by Amazon videos, and Merch by Amazon actually contributes to the bulk of my online income at this point in my career. Merch is something that I'm going to keep putting my time and energy into as long as I'm making profit out of it. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, but take care until then.